Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, in this video, I am bringing you the acquisition, the procurement of the Panther statue. Yes, this is the heist where I steal the Panther from El Rubio. All right. I'm going to sort of go through it, so I'm going to give you some commentary on top of it. Uh, I've been saving this, kind of holding off a little bit, and uh, finally got this taken care of. I wanted to get this done, just, you know, just knock this out and, and make a video for you guys so you can check it out. Um, it, it was pretty cool, man. Listen, I wish that Rockstar would keep this in the game. I wish they would make it like the diamonds where when they do bring it out for the week, you can get it more than once, you know, but that's not the case. It's one and done. And so you better enjoy, man. So here we go. Before we go any further, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications. Don't miss out on any future content. You know it's going to be a banger, man. Go ahead and drop a like. All right. So here we go. At the island. As you guys saw right there, I got double Coco at the main dock. I'm going to go pick that up. I'm using the long fin approach. As always, it's the best approach. Number one, you know, it's, that's the meta. It's the way to do it. Uh, go ahead and nothing crazy though. No full send. You know what I mean. Just want to get this knocked out. You know, just keep it professional. Keep it. Uh, keep it. Keep it G. Right. Just <laughs> nothing too crazy with it. Going to uh, park the boat right here. Kind of angle it in a way where I can get out pretty quick, pretty easy. And um, I'm not gonna lie. I spent a little extra time right here. There's a lot of guards I didn't have to take out. I just wanted to. I just wanted to kind of cover my tracks and my bases here. Took out this guy right there. You know, even though I didn't, you know, didn't have to, right? Definitely want to get that camera, though, that's for sure. And then you want to take out this. Well, again, I didn't have to take this guard out, but just wanted to. <laughs> I was hungry for it. You know, I've taken this route a million times. I've done this heist a million times. I have a pretty good idea of my time, so I knew that I'd have plenty of time to kind of finesse my way through this and, and take care of what I needed to take care of. Mark out this guard up here. Again, no need to. Just wanted to, right? Uh, this Jeep right here. You know, you don't have to... Oh, this guard down here as well. This guy you probably want to take out just to, just to be, you know, safe. And uh, this Jeep right here. We're going to knock this guy out. Again, didn't have to. When you're doing this, none of this stuff is really the majority of this. Maybe the camera you want to take out right there. The rest of it, you really don't have to. You can kind of just get your... Uh, you can work your way around this area without having to worry about getting seen. You know, the Coco was in two different locations on this particular dock area. You know, I was hoping for a double stack in one location, but that wasn't the case. Uh, no big deal, though. You know, once you get comfortable with it, get the hang of it, it's not a problem at all. And if you guys know, if you watch me on my live streams, I always try and go for the Coco. Uh, I just try and maximize the money as best I can, just for, you know, just for the challenge of it, for the fun of it. Right? And, of course, I usually like to do this solo, you know. Over here, though, taking care. Don't worry about that camera on that guard tower over there. It shouldn't pick you up. You sh it shouldn't see you. Every now and again, a Jeep will roll by a second one. That will see you, so pay attention to that. Keep that in mind. Go ahead and finish taking that stack right there, and we're off to the next location. And this little uh, shed right here, this little shack. Going to roll up. Again, the camera's already been taken out. Don't worry about that. And every now and again, one of the reasons why I took that guard out that was up there at the beginning is he does walk back and forth over here. Uh, so, and he will, he will see you. He will alert if you're in here and, you know, getting the cocoa and stuff like that. So, you know, again, you don't have to, you can just wait and let him move around, you know, kind of navigate your way around. But I find it just a little bit easier, uh, just to take him out. You know, I, I use the conspirator weapon loadout. It's got the bullpup rifle, right? Uh, it's not the best overall carbine rifle, but it's good for this because you can zoom in with it. Uh, you know, you can kind of get those headshots pretty easy. Any any gun can do that. Though. The majority of the guns will be fine. You know, the pistols are a little bit more difficult to get those shots off, but you can do it too. It's no problem. Plus, having the C4 is beneficial. You can, if you, there's like a double guard situation where there's two guards close to each other, you can just toss a C4 and it won't alert them and you can blow it up and it won't alert anybody in the compound when you're in the compound doing that. Yo, pay attention to this. On the way out, I get to see Loch Ness Monster. I get to see Nessie again for the second time pay attention right here you'll see the head poke up out of the water that's so dope i can't right there you see it see the head poking out right over there yeah so that was pretty cool and um yeah i, I thought that was pretty dope so 
Second time I've seen uh, Nessie, and again, I get, and both times was during getting a, uh, a Panther statue, so that was really cool. Really enjoyed that. That's fun. It gives a little Easter eggs to get to check him out and see him, so that was pretty cool. All right, got back in the long fit. I'm taking the drink. Now, again, if you've watched me regularly do these heists, you know I can take this any approach. I could have just went on foot and got through the front gate that way. I could have done that, you know what I mean? Uh, but I just chose to go through the drainage tunnel, you know, because this is, uh, again, the meta. So I wanted to show you guys how easy and quick you can navigate your way through the compound on the inside. It's no problem at all. Just murk out these bars real quick. Just kind of flick the joystick over. And you get through this pretty fast. It's really not that hard. And whatever method you have, you know, if you just want to kind of go slow all the way across, you can do that too. I just flick the joystick and just kind of, you know, land on each bar. And it takes about a second for it to cut through. Which, in reality, that's... So it's going to take a little bit longer than that, I, I, I would assume. I've never cut through bars with a with the, the plasma torch underwater, so I have no idea. I'm just assuming it would take a little bit longer than that, though. As you saw there, I equipped my rebreather. If you have rebreathers on, just for just to be safe, hit the left arrow key if you if you have some in the inventory. If you've bought some recently, uh, you should be fine though. No matter what, you may lose a little bit of health, you know, by the time you get done. But you know, it's no big deal. But if you're not very good at the, you know, at cutting the bars right there, just hit the left arrow key. And uh, if you don't know if you've purchased uh, rebreathers, just go to ammunition and you can buy them there. All right, now you can go first person. Uh, you'll move a little bit faster in the compound. I just kind of like to be third person. It's, you know, it is my preference. But going first person, you will move a little bit quicker. As you see right here, I don't worry about taking the guards. I just run right. Just follow this, this path I take every single time. Go up the stairs, take a left. Go around that balcony. Wait for this guard right here. If you notice, these three guards, they have the red cone of vision. 99% of the time, they will have the gate keys that you need to get down to the vault. Every now and again, they won't, though. This guy ended up having it. Bam, got the gate keys. And you see it there right on the left-hand side. Right above the map, you can read it. You know, you picked up the gate keys. Every now and again, though, they will not, and you'll have to kind of go down there and murk out some more guards and find out who's got the gate key. It's happened maybe three or four times to me. Again, no big deal. If you're comfortable with this heist, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. All right, murk this guy out. Then we're going into El Rubio's office. One bad thing about the heist, that, you know, when you pop the safe, it's it's not a guaranteed amount. I didn't get the max amount right here, which was kind of a bummer. You know, I almost wanted to restart it just to get more uh, from the, the safe right there, just to maximize my amount. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to be greedy. It's enough anyways. It's fine. But you can do that because, you know, if, if you notice, I only got like 60 grand out of that or 70 grand. So, and you can get up to like 90, like 4,000, right? Uh, just so you guys know, I could have got a little bit more out of it. But uh, again, I'm not going to be greedy with it. I'm sort of, you know, get it knocked out. It's fine. I'm not really worried about it. All right. Go ahead and hack the fingerprint hack. It, this is on hard mode, by the way. So you do get a little bit of extra bonus for the elite challenge and for the uh, for the actual item itself. Fingerprint hack. Everyone should pretty much know how to do this. It's pretty simple. Just start with the top of the fingerprint and just work your way down. Yeah, the top is basically zero. The next one is one to the right. The third one down is two to the right. The fourth one down is three to the right. Simple. And when I say three to the right, it's three to the right from the top of the fingerprint. You just use that as like your, your base. Again, I've got videos on it. You guys can search it on my channel. Take a look and, and find out. All right, once I'm in here, I wanted to get a little bit of extra, uh, you know, rock star editor footage. Get that knocked out. There she is, man. What a beaut, right? So nice. What we've been waiting for, man. So nice. I've, I've ran the heist with a couple of my crew members while they were stealing theirs. Uh, but this one right here, this is my own. This is really cool. It's so very nice. As you see right here, I'm just kind of hanging out, getting some footage. I wanted to get some cool pictures because who knows when we'll get this back. So I wanted to have some some cool like, pictures to, you know, remind myself. Memories, right? <laughs> Cutting through the glass. Yeah, it looks really nice. Though. They did a really good job. When I was zooming in, getting like a close-up photos, the teeth of the panther are also sapphires, which is really nice. I like that. And I think I'm going to put those on Twitter, maybe on Instagram as well, show you guys some photos that I took. They're really nice, really cool. I right, grabbed that bad boy. We're out of here. As you see, 2,419,000. Save that. Jump on out. Now, the same thing happened to me the other day. I almost got uh, caught right here as I jumped up. As you see, the juggernaut is rolling around right here. 
So you have to make sure you kind of stay out of his cone of vision. He almost saw me right there. He turned around right in time, and this guard was it was a bad timing. He was already in this area. Don't have to shoot him, you know, if you, you don't want to mess up right here. So I just let him walk by to stay in that little sweet spot where nobody could see me with their cone of vision. And, of course, now we search for the giant green button that's right in front of us. So dumb. Push on the door. Not working. Oh, no, it didn't work. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now we're out of here. Just going to mark out one guy. Something funny. We're about to see. I'm not, I'm not embarrassed to show it. You'll see. All right. Hit this guy. Get out of here real quick. This is the route that I always take. I've had people say, Ty, just go down the left side. Blah, blah, blah. Nah, this is the route that I go. I, I, take, I, I murk out this guard. I take the motorcycle. In my opinion, this is the best way. You get further out in the water. The boats don't always spawn, you know. Uh, <laughs> what would it be? What would the panther high speed without hitting one of these concrete trees out here? No shame in my game. It's all good. A little shook up, though, right? A little, little bruised up, no problem. Come out here. Had a terrible launch right there. Lose a little bit of money. It's all right. Lose, I lost about 2500 No big deal. Working our way out. And uh, that's it, man. You know, just swim a little bit to the uh, to the words go away. Do you see, like, the escape Kyoprika disappear, all that stuff? And uh, you're good to go, man. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl, right? Don't have to worry about nobody shooting to see all the, the little the phrasing at the bottom disappeared. You're pretty much done right there. You know, even though I knew I took my time on the island and kind of, you know, messing around with the cameras and stuff like that, I still knew I had elites, uh, you know, not a problem at all. Go to the black screen. Going to go over here to uh, Mini Madrazo, right? Miguel. Drop off the duffel bag. What's happening? Got my little envelope there. Has all the pertinent information to get all my monies. We'll see the detailed stats right here. Potential take. Wouldn't that be nice to grab that? Jeez, man. Actual take, 2294143 Lost a couple bucks. I don't know why it does that. It's weird. 10 minutes and 9 seconds. Not my fastest, but I wasn't really... I mean, I knew I'd, I'd be good. Still had almost 5 minutes to spare. Got the elite challenge. End up making two million three hundred ninety-four thousand one hundred forty. Again, I could have backed out and went back into the safe and got an extra ten, fifteen grand. But the max you can get is just a little bit over two point four. I mean, I'm not worried about it. It's all good. It's fine. But if you guys, you know, want to try and get the most amount you possibly can, you can just, you know. The, the safe the safe money is where it's going to be that's that, that's what's going to you know flux between you know 30 and, and 40 th you know between 30 and 40,000 in that in that range there you go there's the details right there good stuff the panther statue that's it man so hopefully uh, rockstar brings the panther statue back but i told you guys i'd make the video for you of me robbing mine just kind of show you what was up nothing too crazy though just got it done got it knocked out Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills and Reels content. The game smash. I mean, it's smash that like button. See you the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.